I was talking earlier about people who mock, people who praise God. Amen. Uh, I was telling the church how it's beginning to sink in me in my heart. When I see these comedians and stuff get on the television, on the internet, and mock the church. That's a problem. Yeah. And God is not going to stand by and let you continue doing it. Yeah. One of the reasons why this country is in the problems it is in is because it has lost disrespect for God. Yes. And the reason why that's one reason why that's happening is because we as the people of God, we don't bring respect and honor to God. That's yes. right. But there's another reason why. We, and I understand that because there are people who go out here and do things that they shouldn't do. Yes. They make a mockery of the things of God. Yes. And Hollywood pick up on that and they mock it. Yeah. But you better be careful, Hollywood. You better be careful, Hollywood. Because if you mock in the things of God, God is going to move against you. Mm -hmm. He's going to move against you. I was telling the church how that when David praised God and Micaiah, they picked at him, mocked him, said, you made yourself look a fool before all the people of Israel. Mm -hmm. God closed the wounds up mm -hmm. so she couldn't have any children. Mm -hmm. That's right. You want this country to be blessed? Take your hand off of the people of God. Stop mocking the people of God. Stop doing things like that. Because God will not bless a people who touch his people. The right. Bible says, if you can find Israel, it's also applies to the church. If you touch him, you touch the apple of his eye. That's right. You touch the apple of his eye. So stop it. I know you like Tyler Perry. I know you like Tyler Perry. I used to like Tyler Perry too. Mm -hmm. But Tyler Perry made his millions at mocking the church. Amen. Mm -hmm. You think God blessing that? Oh no. Oh no. His my dear character, Daniel of God. Mm -hmm. It's the way he teaches the truth about the church. There are two types of truth. There's the sincere truth. And then there's a truth that's done for the wrong purpose. Amen. See, I can go and tell the truth, and, 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 and let's say I go to court of law, and I see you do something, and they bring me in, and I say, yeah, I saw it, and I'm giving the, the truth about that. But now, if I'm telling the truth, I'm saying, now, you know what? Such a time that she, she really aggravated me, I don't like her. And I got my opportunity now to get back at her. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go down here and testify. Make sure she goes to jail. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. She did what they said. Mm -hmm. But I messed it up with my motive. Mm -hmm. I messed it up with my motive. But God will say, you did it for the wrong heart. Mm -hmm. You did it out of spite, out of vengeance. When I say vengeance of mine, I will repay. Yes. You got a vengeful heart, and now you want to cause vengeance upon her. So now you are now that glad to testify against her mm -hmm. to get her in trouble so that you can feel like, hey, I got her back. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's the wrong truth. And trying to get money off of the church by mocking the church is the wrong reason. It's the wrong reason. And there are a lot of stage shows. Amen. That God is not honored by. There are a lot of people who go to churches and mock the church. Inside the church, God is not honored by that. You get your hands off of God's people. You don't know what you're doing. I was telling the church how that Elijah was a bald headed man. So the children came out of the woods and said, You're a bald headed preacher, you're a bald headed man. That's my words. You're a bald headed man. And two she bears came out and ate them, destroyed them. You don't touch God's people. Amen. You don't touch God's people. I don't care how much you want to get rich. I don't care what your purpose is. You don't touch God's people. Now, as I said, there are some folks out there who are charlatans, they are crooks, and they in the church, and they mess up. But everybody in the church is not that way. Everybody in the church is not that way. 
Amen. There are some of us who are really sincere about God and love God. And you better be careful. Amen. Praise God. Uh -huh. You stop it.